Today is the first chapter of a series of videos about building a backend using AWS. In this series, we'll take a look at how to build a backend for this app we have right here. And we'll build this backend only using AWS services. So first, let's take a look at what this app does. This app allows us to upload new files. Let's try it out and upload these two pictures. As you can see, these pictures were uploaded and listed on this list. We can also open each one of these images to see a larger version, or we can delete them. What powers this app and where this app is hosted is AWS. When we make requests to the API, it actually goes to this URL, which uses API Gateway, which provides us with this URL, which in turn calls a Lambda function. And this Lambda function is actually responsible for processing our request and returning this JSON response. So we'll take a look at how to build such an API using AWS API Gateway and Lambda. Besides that, we'll take a look at S3 because these files that we upload are actually hosted in an S3 bucket. So if we'll go to S3 and open our bucket, we can see that the files that are listed in here are also the files on our S3 bucket. If we'll delete a file, go to our bucket and refresh, we can see that this file disappears from here as well. Besides hosting our files on S3, we'll also host the code of the front end of this application on S3 as well. And we'll use the Route 53 service to point a subdomain to this public bucket, which hosts our front end. We won't get into how to build the front end for this app, but we will look at all the aspects of building its backend. So far, we have S3, Route 53, API Gateway, and Lambda. The other two services we'll look at are AWS IAM, which is a service that we'll use to configure the permissions of the different services that we're using. And lastly, we'll take a look at CloudWatch, which we use to send custom metrics about our usage of the app that we have to CloudWatch. So in here, we can see that I have this dashboard in here. And in this dashboard, we see the metrics of the past few minutes or hour in which we can see how many times each one of these endpoints were called. How many times we called uh, the upload file endpoint, get files, or delete the file. And this, of course, are very simple metrics, but there's much that can be done using CloudWatch. We can set up alarms, so if these metrics go out of bounds, we'll receive an email or many other things we can do using CloudWatch. So these are the services we are using to build the backend of this app. In our next second video, we're going to look at setting up uh, an S3 bucket and configuring Route 53 to point a subdomain to this bucket. And this S3 bucket will contain the front end of our application. This is going to be our first step. And then in every following video, we'll take a look at a different service and eventually We'll have the backend for this little application that we have here. This way, by building this backend for this app, we'll use several different AWS services and see how they work with each other and how we can use them to build a RESTful API, host an app, and monitor it. So, again, let's summarize which AWS services we're going to use to build our backend. First of all, we're going to use S3 both to host the files that we're going to upload using our app but also to host the app itself. Well, actually, the app's front end. And again, we're not going to get into how to build such a front end. We'll only be looking at uh, the back end for this app. Then we'll use Route 53 to point a subdomain to our app that is hosted on S3. We will then use API and Gateway and we'll use it to create an endpoint for a RESTful API. Then we'll use Lambda, and Lambda function will actually be all the logic for our application. And then when we call API Gateway, it will make the request to our Lambda function, and the Lambda function will return the JSON back to the user. We'll also use IAM service for the permissions. We'll see how to configure permissions using uh, the service. And lastly, we'll use CloudWatch monitoring. Our app is hosted on S3. We upload the files to S3 bucket. 
will have route 53 which will point the subdomain which we call to our uh, front-end application then the front-end application will make API requests to API gateway which in turn will use a lambda function to process the request and return a JSON response we will need to use IAM to configure all the permissions for the different services and then lastly, we'll use CloudWatch and monitor each request as it comes and we'll use custom metrics to see which request we handled. To get a notification about every video of the series and about the next video, please sign up to the channel and I'll see you in the second video.